Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scam News, the show where we take a look at sneak peeks, upcoming features, items and other thingy-bajigs that are going to be added into the game. Now as we all know, whenever we get slapped around by a puppet, whenever we jump from a bit of a high place, if we get injured in any way, we will get that injury under the form of a bleed. But it looks like that's not going to be the case anymore in the future because we are going to get blunt damage trauma and we're also going to get armor classes. And we are going to go a bit into that today. It's a bit of a read, so, you know, I hope you enjoy today's scum audiobook. <laughs> read by yours truly. So let's get into this a little bit and read ab about these changes that will come to the injury system. So we have bleeding and blunt damage trauma. Now the current system works in a way that all damage that players receive is treated as bleeding wounds. And we know this. However, bleeding wounds should occur only if damage is inflicted by sharp objects like knives, axes, claws, things like that and not by blunt weapons, for example, hammers, sledgehammers, rocks. <laughs> blunt weapons can inflict trauma that can eventually lead to broken limbs. Sharp weapons like axes and bullets can also break bones. Also, no matter what kind of clothes a player has, it doesn't provide any kind of protection against popper attacks. Layers of clothes don't provide anything and players have to patch their wounds constantly, which sometimes makes the game a bit tedious to play. So as we all know, if we get slapped by a puppet, we're gonna get a C1, C2 bleed. Usually we get a C1 bleed and that bleed is going to stabilize on its own. We don't necessarily have to patch it up, but nowadays we can get it contaminated, so that may be a bit of an issue. Right, so in the future this is going to be changed up and it looks like we're not gonna have to patch up all the time. How is that gonna be implemented? Well, it looks like it's going to be implemented with the help of armor classes. It says that the solution to this issue would be to add armor classes for all clothes depending on their durability. This means that each armor class defines the amount of damage that clothes can sustain before it gets torn up. Whenever clothes get destroyed or torn up, they will expose the skin or the body, which will result in bleeding wounds. So for example, if we don't have a shirt on, we get slapped, we're gonna get a bleeding wound. But if we do have a shirt on, and it's in good condition, the chances are we're not gonna get a bleeding wound from a puppet slap. This is what I'm gathering from this, but let's keep on reading and see what else we are, we can uncover. Armor class goes from 0 to 10. 10 means that there is no armor, and 0 means that clothes are impenetrable. This number also reflects the amount of durability that an item has to lose to become impenetrable. Shouldn't this be the other way around? 0 means no armor and 10 means max armor? I feel like this is backwards here, you know, but what the f*** do I know, right? <laughs> but in my mind, right, 0 is the worst and 10 is the best, right? Well, let's see what else we can find out in this here document. Armor class 0 means that even fully destroyed, 0% durability gives full protection. Alright? Armor class 1 means that the item cannot provide any protection below 10% durability. Armor class 5 means that the item cannot provide any protection below 50 durability. Armor class 8 means that the item cannot provide any protection below 80% durability. Armor class 10 means that even with 100% with durability, there is no protection provided. Okay, now it makes a bit more sense. So the 0 to 10 is reflecting the percentage of the durability of the, the item. So 0%, an item that is going to protect us from bleeds, even at 0% will give us full protection. So I'm thinking stab-proof vests, things like that, even if they're broken down, they will protect us. 
But if we have an AC5, armor class 5, that means that if the item is at 50% durability, it cannot provide any protection, right? But it doesn't stop there, we also have layers. Now, layers of clothing provide additional protection for the character. Each layer is considered as a separate protection. First, the game will take outer layers and as they get destroyed, switches to the inner layer until nothing but the skin is left. Oh, I see. So, for example, if we have a shirt and then a t-shirt, when our shirt gets destroyed, the game is going to consider the t-shirt as protection. It's going to remove the shirt is going to take in consideration the t-shirt, something along those lines. Once the layer's durability gets below its armor class factor, then the layer gets ignored since it gets penetrated. For now, we will keep the system of how damage to layers is distributed, although it would be better that inner layers don't receive the full amount of damage until outer levels get penetrated. That makes sense. So. If we get hit, our, our shirt gets damaged, but our t-shirt underneath the shirt does not. Eventually, when there is no protection, all layers are penetrated, sharp objects or puppets will make bleeding wounds. Up until then, all wounds will be treated as blunt damage trauma. Bleeding wound without the bleeding. And blunt damage trauma, this type of trauma will immediately go into the stabilization phase and no bandages are needed for it since there is no bleeding. Also, there will be no infections. Alright, so if we get uh, blunt trauma damage, we're not, gonna, we're not going to have to patch up the bleed because there's gonna be no bleed and there's gonna be no infection either. And we kept on reading about the armor classes and here we have a list with what class every item or some items are in so for example oh there's so many examples here but before we get into the the, the armor let's see the sharp weapons so one-handed blades will penetrate armor class 2 and above two-handed blades will penetrate armor class 1 and above bullets will penetrate all clothes except for bulletproof vests Alright, so this is the armor classes. These are just some examples here. So, for example, armor class 10 is t-shirts, underwear, slippers, improvised shoes, disposable masks, medical gloves, kitchen gloves, things like that. So, the basic stuff. Armor class 9, we have civilian stuff. Uh, gloves, civilian gloves, hats, high-top shoes, uh, scarves, balaclavas, things like that. Armor class 8, we have military gloves, masks, high top shoes. Armor class 8, we have again civilian clothes, inmate pajamas, jeans, leather shoes, kilt, raincoats. Again, these are some examples. There's probably going to be more, uh, more items in these, in these armor classes. Armor class 7, we have military clothes, work pants, rubber boots, animal skins. Armor class 6, leather, motorcycle construction, military boots, motorcycle boots, hiking boots, pilot jacket, work jacket, improvised stab-proof vest, AC5, improvised leather stab-proof vest, armor class 4, improvised bulletproof vest, armor class 3, stab-proof vest and civilian helmets, we have armor class 2, and then armor the bulletproof vests, good helmets and things like that, armor class 1. So there is no AC0. What's the, what's the deal with that? Oh, maybe the big armor, the big, strong, beefy armor, the really heavy one is going to be AC0. But maybe we won't have any AC0s, who knows. But it does say in the... But in the other document that we just read, it says that AC0 means that even fully destroyed, 0% durability gives full protection. But we don't have any items in the in the list when it comes to AC0. But talking about the AC1 here, it says that it cannot pr provide any protection under 10% durability. So if the vest here is at 15% durability, it's going to protect. But if it drops under 10% or if it's at 10%, it's not going to offer up any sort of protection. But yeah, there you go, a new system will come in place. When is this gonna turn up in the game? I do not know, but 
it is interesting to see that we're not gonna get bleeds all the time from puppet slaps and things like that especially puppet slaps right the other things aren't really that big of an issue at least for me because 90 percent of the time when whenever i get an injury it's from a puppet the other injuries that i sustain are from bullets and that will instantly lead to my demise <laughs> Whenever I'm in a battle, more often than not, whenever I'm in a battle, I am in a gunfight. I don't really go for axes, spears, things like that. If I have a spear, you know, I'll probably avoid a battle, right? Until I get a gun. I think I was in like in a handful of battles, an axe battle and things like that, which are a lot of fun. But most often than not, it's it's a gun battle. So uh, the biggest change here will be to fighting puppets. Because, you know, we, I, just me, I'll, I'll use myself as, as an example. I don't get bleeds from, you know, axes and spears and sharp objects because, you know, on official one, <laughs> you meet somebody, they're going to have a gun. Let's be honest here. But it is interesting to see that if, if somebody comes at you with a hammer or some purple items, you know, it's not going to be a bleed if you get hit, it's going to be some sort of a trauma and that's not going to have infections and that's not going to be a patched up, it's not going to be necessary to patch it up, but there we have it, let me know down below what you guys think about this system, do you like it, do you not like it, would you like to see it in the game sooner, later, never, but that is about it for the news today, again, let me know what you think down below, I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, podcast, in case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.